Hey guys. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um. Hello. If you're here, please let me know you're here. Um. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening to my network today. Please, if you're here, just let me know you're here. So um, I want to be sure that you guys can hear me and see me. Okay, now I'm sure. Hi, Esther. Hi, Miriam. Hi, guys. Good evening and welcome to today's live stream. I'm happy to be here. And I'm not here alone. I'm here with somebody special. This person is not new to this channel anyway, but before we get to him, before he introduces himself, I just want to say, how are you guys doing today? How was your day? Um, hi everyone, splendid, Uchechi, everyone, good evening, good evening guys, welcome. So I bring you guys, like I've had, I've seen all your queries, all your questions, everything you've been asking, and I'm just trying to do my best, okay? so. That is why I had to bring back a special guest here to come personally and answer all your questions. Um, because sometimes it's good to bring people who have been there, who have experienced this thing firsthand. They have the right information and the right answer to your questions. And they can as well guide you and hold your hands towards, you know, achieving some of these things. So, yeah, you guys know that I got you all the time. I see you, I hear you, and um, that's why I'm doing my best to help. Okay, so Mr. Philip is here, and if you've watched my previous video, I just want to go straight to today's video because we have a lot to talk about, right? So, you guys, welcome everybody. Good evening, guys. I see you all, Melissa Banks. You guys are welcome. My food and life history, everyone. I see you. You're welcome to today's live stream. Okay, so we know that right now, um, there's kind of a restriction mm -hmm. as to who can come into the UK and who cannot come. So we need to grab the opportunities we have right now before it slips off our fingers, okay? And um, Mr. Philip has, has been here before to talk about how he moved to the UK as a fashion designer, as a tailor, basically. So he is here right now because you guys asked me a lot of questions. And some of them I didn't really have the answer because, you know, of course... I am not on Global Talent Visa, but I had to bring him back here to come and answer all your questions, to come and guide you if possible. And I must also mention that from when we make that we made that video till now, it's just about just about one month. We've gotten so many endorsements. Trust me, guys. And that's why I'm doing this because I'm seeing the results. Okay. And I was so impressed. And I'm here to do it again for as many people that missed that opportunity. So you don't miss this one again. Okay, um, so the truth is a lot of people are actually qualified for this visa route, but they don't know about it. They don't. And, you know, this is why we do what we do. Okay, so Mr. Philip is going to introduce himself and then we'll just get started so that we can take as much question as <clears throat> possible. Hi, my name is so Philip to you, sir. Okay. Hi, my name is Philip Ojire. I'm a fashion designer um, from Nigeria and uh, currently in the UK. I currently uh, work as a fashion designer running my brand here and also as a talent consultant for the Global Talent Visa. And um, basically that's it about me. All right, welcome to today's live stream. And I'm so happy that you agreed to do this because I know you're a very busy person, so thank you for coming. Um, so welcome. guys, quickly, for those who don't know, yeah. So guys, basically, I'm a fan of the Global Talent Visa because it's like the sweetest and like the best UK visa you can have, trust me. You don't need a certificate of sponsorship. You don't need proof of English language. So you don't have to bother your health about writing IELTS, about bank score, about NARIC, no. You don't need that. You don't need certificate of sponsorship. Okay, you don't even need to have a job, right? And you will move to the UK. You don't need proof of funds, guys. You move to the UK with your family. 
and see you can freestyle i don't want to talk too much let me allow mr philip who is on this way start to give, tell you guys all the tea okay because see guys I, i'm like okay why didn't i consider no matter in this but yeah that's <laughs> about that so mr philip over to you let's hear um what you have to say for those who are watching, they don't know what Global Talent is, um, Visa is all about. Can you please tell us what it's all about? Okay. Um, before I also start, let me also, because I've also gotten so many emails and um, DMs about this. The UK restrictions, current res restrictions, does not affect the Global Talent Visa. It's just for study routes. The Global Talent Visa, you can still move with your dependent, fully with your dependent. You get the visa the same day you applied for yourself and for your dependent. So basically, the Global Talent Visa is for special talented people across the world. I think um, the UK have got it, the US and every some other countries have got it. But the focus today is on the UK Global Talent Visa. And we are talking about the fashion route, which is also under the art and culture. It also covers, this art and culture covers um, fashion designers, musicians, because I know I've got two musicians, top Nigerian musicians on my list I just submitted uh, for. Um, um, film actors, uh, movie producers, music producers, uh directors and more artists is, yes artists poets dancers like pokoli and kathy yeah and all that those kind of so um it covers it's quite broad but um my major focus is um i i can do all but i do majorly fashion uh music artists actors etc so um basically for you to be qualified for the global talent visa the first criteria is you have got to have a five years experience you have to have that track record to prove that you have been um, a fashion designer the truth is like i always say so many people are qualified for this but they are not proud of their work number one number two the only if you go when you go to some people's instagram pages the only professional picture you would see is probably their own personal birthday shoots your work is not displayed anywhere your work is nowhere to be found nowhere to be found so how can we see your work people don't even know apart from maybe your family and friends don't even know you're a fashion designer but trust me so many african fashion designers i'm proud of their work when you see what they do and you compare it to the international space, you see that if we are we were actually documenting and putting our job works out there, we can compete with any other fashion brand in the world. The problem we just have is that lack of presence. We don't put our jobs out there. So when I started my brand and I was spending so much money on photo shoots back to back every week, back to back, doing media pub publications and all that, you don't even need a celebrity to do all this stuff. You can do, do a regular Monday or use yourself. Now, if people even do self-influencing and all that, put your jobs out there because at the end of the day, you are not applying for Nigerians got talent. You are applying for a global talent visa. It means that you're taking your brand from a local stage or a space to a global space. So you have to be very intentional about this stuff. So they said, this visa has got two stages. It has got the endorsement stage and the visa stage. The endorsement stage is where you present the document they want you to. And the visa stage is just the biometrics, just for you to go and drop your visa and do the biometrics thumbprint and you live there. It does not waste time. So you don't need all those uh, uh, proof of funds and all that stuff. People do. I think the only thing you just add is your tuberculosis test that's all now to um, apply for the endorsement you need 13 documents in total three recommendation letters and 10 pieces of evidences to back it up now these recommendation letters two can come from your home country or any other place in the world but one must come from the uk at least one must come from the uk 
So if you if you can get two recommendation letters from the UK, the better for you. But one and it must come from either top fashion organizations, top fashion designers, top fashion stylists, or top fashion related organizations. Anything that have to do with fashion, they must recommend you, stating how they know you, of what benefit it will be for you working in the UK, how you can contribute to the social cultural life of the UK also. So these are the things involved. Then you also need 10 documents to support it. And they give, I think they give four options where you can, um, you must get those evidences from. The truth is this um, visa, it looks doable and it looks tricky because um, I think the Arts Council did not even do explainer videos for people to get it step by step. But trust me, um, that's why you need people like us who have um, not just gotten it, but we have also, I personally have had 15 endorsements in the last, this is the 92, 92nd day. So that's it. I'll be happy to answer any questions that people want to ask Toshi. All right, guys, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. I know personally that from when I brought him here to talk about the Global Talent Visa, to tell you guys about it and explain what it's all about till now. And that was in April, right? Till yeah. now, we've got to... For me, I've actually been five people. Five people, yeah. Five people are from your people. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah. So five of my followers actually yeah, have gotten their endorsements I've just gotten, in yeah. one month. Just so one that month. is why I had to bring him back. I'm like, this is good. Please, we need to let more people know about it. Because, guys, trust me, a lot of people are qualified for this visa, but they don't know. Okay? They don't know. So we are here to tell you. And it's not just like he said earlier, it's not just um, um, fashion designers or tailors. It's called arts and culture. So, culture. so if you're in that space, if whatever you're doing is, you know, classed in that art and culture category, then you're free. Musicians, actors, artists, dancers. He has mentioned all um, um, earlier. Let me not keep repeating what he said. Um, so, yeah. And I'm really glad that this is happening because I know that people, more people will get to benefit from this. So please reach out, do well to reach out to him. And um, I have talked to him and he's open to helping as many people as possible. Trust me, there are results. Okay, there are results. If you guys want, maybe tomorrow I'll post it on Instagram or something like the number of endorsements or even here um, on my community for people to see it. The number of endorsements that we have since we posted that video has been like i'm like you know yeah so it's, it's a good thing okay so feel free to ask him all your questions in fact questions are coming in already um i will just take it so um adekule ifeolua says um where is this question yeah so can someone already in the uk switch to the global talent visa yes oh. what's happening hello have we lost mr philip there no i'm here i can hear you hello I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I can hear you now. It was frozen initially, but I can hear you now. Okay. What's happening? Is it from my end? Yes, so we're on them. Um, can someone already in the UK switch to the Global Talent Visa? That was where we lost you. Yes, you can switch. If you're in the UK already, you can switch. So, for example, from, um, um, let me give a typical example. From five of your people, let me give two. One is a student 
and one is a carer. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. So I said, yes, you can switch. If you're already in the UK, you can switch your visa route from any stage it is to it. So a typical example from your five um, uh, followers, one um, that got it, one is a student currently studying, currently studying. She has not finished studying. Um, the second one is um, the second one is a carer. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hear so, you. yeah. The second one is a carer. So you can switch your visa routes. Okay. Um, so Kix Anand is asking, how did you get a UK organization to recommend you? That's why you need to consult me. Okay. So guys, okay. And then they're asking, what is your contact detail? That's the most important one. How can they contact you? Okay. They can contact me via Instagram, my handle at Philip Ojire or via email. Mr. Philip Ojiri at gmail.com. That's M R O, then Philip Ojiri at gmail.com. Mr. Philip, let me see if I can type it here. Okay. Would you want me to type again? it on Mr. Philip Ojiri at gmail.com? That's for email. Yeah, if you can, so I can just pin it. Yeah, then Instagram. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? No, can you drop it as a comment in the chat? Yes, I just so I can did pin that. It. Okay. Is that possible? Okay, let me do that. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I'm so sorry, guys. I don't understand what's happening today, honestly. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So I was saying, can you drop it? Yeah, so please drop it as a comment here on this chat so I can pin yeah, it. I don't know why I can't Is that comment. What, can you do I, that? Yeah, I don't know why I can't comment. I Am I supposed to sign in? to comment okay don't worry um i'll do it from this end so your email is mr philip Ojire. Ojire. yeah i sent it to the private chat Ojire at gmail.com yeah
Okay, then someone is asking, um, can a makeup artist apply? Yes, a makeup artist can apply, but for a makeup, makeup artist to have applied, it means that... Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, wow. What is happening today? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Your people say they can hear me, but I don't know why you can't hear me. I don't understand what's happening, honestly. Okay, let's continue. Um, so, so you were saying something about makeup artists, right? Yeah. So I said, um, yeah, a makeup artist can apply, but um, you must have done um, something significant in a movie or um, nominated for an award, like in Nigeria, like the AMA Awards and I think the AMVCA. But I'm so sure of the a AMA Awards because it's on the list. So if you if you've um, did a makeup artist for if did make up for maybe an actor nominated that won either actor of the year any category or was nominated you can apply if you did um a makeup in a movie that was nominated yes you can apply okay so you guys have heard it even makeup artists it's time for you to take your skills to the next level so guys do the needful contact him today like um immediately um someone says can someone into skincare business switch to global mm. talent no it's it's not it's not it's not listed so you don't waste your time and money it's not listed even at fashion accessories okay. is not listed it has to be full fashion for fashion For those into video editor, will it work? Yes, video editors. It w yes, there's a category for them. It has, I think, it has. Um, it's under the film, uh, film, television category. Cinematographers also it, it work, but you must have done a movie that has been nominated for those awards, either an AMA award or an AMVCA in Nigeria. So guys, I'm so sorry about my network. I think it's my network that is misbehaving. I don't know what's happening, but pardon me, please. I'm sure you're getting the information. Um, so can a photographer apply? That's another question. Uh, for photography, I have I didn't see any stuff about photography yet. Um, so I don't think for now. I don't think a photographer until maybe i get in touch with art council again and if they do i can come and say yes they do so i only try to give information that i'm sure of can a cinematographer apply for this visa 
yes, a cinematographer can apply, but you have to be still nominated in that um, category. Either you did a movie, um, the movie won an AMA award, or you were nominated for an AMA award. Yeah. AMA award is actually on the list. That's why I'm using AMA award. I'm not Amar sure. Awards, I think yeah. AMBC is listed, but I am not sure I saw it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. But and I, I'm I'm very sure I saw the AMA awards. Okay, so Kix is asking another question. Um, she says, "What happens?" Where is her question? She says, "What happens if the makeup artist has portfolio of the work they have done?" Yeah, port portfolio does not um, would not count for the makeup artist because I think it's a different body of endorsement, and they stated their criteria very loud. You because anybody can um, can say they makeup artist, so they try to make sure that for the makeup all those categories that falls under film and television, you have to um, get nominated or who have done, um, you were in a job that was nominated. For example, let's say, um, which let's use maybe a typical Nigerian film, let's say um, Living in Bondage was nominated for um, AMA Award and you did the makeup for Living in Bondage, then, you can apply. Yeah, but uh, if it falls under your portfolio, if that's it included in your portfolio, yes, you can you can apply. But if it's not, if no nominations from any of these awards we just spoke about, then I'm afraid you can't apply. Okay. Um, can an interior designer apply? No, I, I don't think they are there. I think it's my fault. I said the person is an ar architect. There's, I think there's a, there's a category for architecture. So if the person is an architect or have the architecture background, yes, yes the person can apply. Okay. So guys, you see what I meant when I said that you can, you know, you're actually qualified for this visa, but you might not know, right? So there are so many people in this category that can apply for it, but they don't know about it. And even if you are in this category and you feel like you have not done enough, maybe in your business or what you do, you can start now to, you know, put your things together. Mr. Philip will tell you what to do when you contact him. Um, you can contact him via his Instagram account at Philip Ojire or his email um, at Mr. Philip Ojire at gmail.com, right? And he will, he will, you know, walk you through the process. He will hold your hands and make sure you get the endorsement. Before you know it, it doesn't even take long. So imagine when we made the first video in April and now we've gotten so many endorsements, right? So it doesn't yeah. take long. Once you meet the requirements, have everything they need, and of course, it will help you and tell you what to do so you can get all the evidences they need. And then you'll be in the UK soon, yeah. sooner yeah. than you think. Exactly. Right. So why, why, why this one-on-one -on -one guide is very important. I also had a guide when I was um, applying for mine. Why this one-on-one -on -one guide is important? It's so you don't get rejected and you're applying twice. Let me give you a typical example. I've got eight people that um, I think some are from you also. They might also be seeing this video that um, they came in and they said, oh, don't worry, I can do it, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, fine. I advise them, see, from the drafting of the letter, to lock in your evidences, to make sure everything, because this visa is all about evidence. They are not interviewing you. So every evidence must connect to the next one. So everything must be traceable. I advise them, they are like, no, I told them that, see, don't be a pennywise, spam foolish kind of person. 
it's just like I also told them it's optional because I give an example of some people write jump and wayek read on their own and they just pass. Some people go for extra moral classes and get a review of past question papers, ETCs, and they could still come out in flying color. So it's just better you just do it and do it once. Now, those people, eight of them have been rejected. They've come back to me. They will pay me and they'll still pay, um, what's it called, application fee again to start again. So it's like you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money. And you still have to now start start another fresh application, have a long wait list again and all that. So I always advise people, if people that do, um, uh, what's it called, the care and other sponsorship kind of visa, pay as much as 10 to 15,000 pounds for a tier two, tier three visa or so. And this is the most valuable visa in the UK. And you're, you, you're feeling somehow to spend money to achieve what you want to achieve, then I don't think you're even serious. You don't even need it. Because the care people will tell you, bring 10 to 15,000 pounds. And people are rushing and people are suffering. If I tell you how many care people are on my list that we are trying to help convert their visas, that are fashion designers. They were fashion designers. But they heard about the care route. They rushed and paid about for the care route. And now they are here suffering, doing what they don't like. So one, one guy confided in me that every time he chats me, it's like, Ross, please, let's just get this thing. I am depressed. I can't continue. I'm not talking down on the care out. Please don't get it out. There are some people doing it and doing it well and then, and enjoying it. But why would you be a creative where you can get a tier one visa and you're going to fall for less? So I always advise people, get 99 or 95% of the people that have gotten it Check Tech Nation, check everywhere. Went through guides, either from talent consultant or immigration consultant. So just be wise, do it and do it once and rest. All right. So can you tell us like some of the benefits of being on this side? Because I, I feel like maybe some people haven't really gotten that. So what are the benefits of being on this visa? Okay, the number one thing of uh, the number one benefit is to move with your family. The number two benefit is, and if you get the exceptional talent, because they've they've got two categories: exceptional talent and exceptional promise. Now, the exceptional talent are for people that have made significant um, achievements in the fashion industry. The exceptional promise are for promising talents, like so many people here and so many people that will watch this video later. That's why they said, excuse me, promising talent, exceptional promise. That's a promising talent. You, you might not even know you're a promising ta talent until I help you break it down into stages, you know. Now, the exceptional talent, you get your indefinite leave to stay in three years. And on the fourth year and fifth year, you can now apply for your citizenship. Why the <clears throat> why the exceptional promise? In the fourth year, you can apply for indefinite, and in the fifth year, you can get your citizenship. Yeah. That, okay, that and then you can work from anywhere. You can work from anywhere. You can um, you can move. I've been traveling up and down. This week, uh, I, I was in France also, So and I came back. So it gives you that global mobility. See, if top Nigeria, some, I can't mention names here, but if top Nigerian artists can do it, that are big, over big, and you know, have global talent visa because they need that global mobility. So oh, why would you want you? Why wouldn't you want to do it? Global mobility is key. It doesn't restrict you. You must not stay in the UK um, um, like the way some other countries will restrict you. You know, you must not stay in the UK every day. You can just come in, come out, come in, come out. But in a stretch, you can't stay out of the UK for 180 days in a stretch. 
So it means that in six months or so, you can stay out of the UK for a stretch of six months. So let's say you go in today, come in, you do another three or four months outside, you go in and come in today into the UK, maybe one or two days left after, you go out again. You just clock in and clock out, clock in and clock out. So it gives you that global mobility. And the fantastic thing about this, uh, this global talent visa is that it gives you access to start your own business, your own brand. You can also work for anybody in the UK or anywhere in the world. Your dependents can also work, unlike the US on that your dependents cannot work. They only depend on you, the primary applicant. So when you think of all these benefits, and in the next few years, you get your citizenship. By the time this administration they just saw in Nigeria is moving out, you should have gotten your indefinite. By the time they are swearing the next person, you should be you should get your dual citizenship. So um, I always advise people the benefits is just it doesn't restrict you, it does not tie you to an employer at all. So that's all right. Um, so let me just take this question I saw now. Um, Ola Bobola says, I live in the UK, I have an interview with the NHS next week. Please help with some interview tips. So, um, Ola Bobola, I have about two videos on strictly on interview questions and answers. And we want to see that video because you know we've had results, okay, of people who watched that video, went for their interview, and they're successful. If you scroll through my channel, you will see it, or even check my community because I posted it recently, you would also see it, okay. Um, I wish you all the best. Or alternatively, if you don't see it, you can send me maybe send me an email. Description is my email is in the is in the description box so that I can send you the link of the video. Okay, because there's no way I can send you the link of the video on YouTube. So if you don't find it on my channel, but it's there, I can send you a link if you send me an email. Okay, I wish you all the best in your interview. Um, so I don't know if we have more questions here. I think we've we've taken all the relevant questions here. So guys, if you have any other question for us, for Mr. Philip, do well to post it. Ask because um, now that you have him, he's a very busy person. He's a boss. You know, he has his business, he has his brand. So he's usually very busy. And now he's um, a consultant as well. So you will, will not often see him. I had to drag him is. here, you know. So yeah, because. I just saw a question someone wrote Can a t shirt designer? apply apply yeah yes can you hear me please can you hear me yeah i can hear you so a t-shirt designer is also yes a i can hear you designer. yeah a t-shirt designer is also a fashion designer so the t-shirt designer can apply Yeah. So guys, you can actually apply. You just never know. But now you know. So start doing the needful. The truth is that everybody must not be a care assistant. We know that, you know, since the care assistant rules open, it feels like it's like the easiest way for most people to move. But everybody must not be a care assistant. You are a fashion designer. You're a creative. This is even a better option or alternative for you. Why not hold on to it now that it's still open? So, guys, please do the needful, okay? I wish you guys all the best, trust me. And do well to share your testimony when you get your endorsement. So, um, please tell us. You have final words for us before we go. I think we're taking all the questions right now. Um, Yeah. Do you have final words for us before we go? Any words of encouragement? Anything at all you, you want to tell us? Uh, like I, I would always say, um, this I think this um, visa route has been open since um, 2020. It's not a popular visa route, so so many people don't even know about it, and so many people feel it's too cliche to be true. Uh, there was one um, lady I did from from your from your place also. She even went for she went to do her biometrics today, and 
she was like pam 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 she was just doing everything fast fast i can't believe in short after we submitted she was chatting me every night oh philip i sure we did not make a mistake oh philip this oh philip that until she got it now her mind has um, rested so i always tell people the truth is you might not know as perhaps you you're a fashion designer and you you design clothes even if your jobs are not out there I, I will tell you what and what to do on how to build your profile. Would we'll tell you the right things to do, the right steps to take on how you can build each profile that will be verifiable everywhere in the world. If they do a Google search on you, they'll see you as a fashion designer and other. We'll tell you all the right steps, step by step. We'll hold your hand like a toddler and guide you through the process from stage one to stage two to the final stage until the day you're in the UK. So this is what we do. Trust me, it's time taking, but it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it. The kind it's of freedom, it. the kind of flex I'm having in the UK, traveling up and down. I don't need to, the visas that will take me time and extra serious money to get in Nigeria, I applied for them and in a couple of days, most times one, two days, I've gotten them. Global mobility is key. Trust me. Trust me. You don't even need to shut down your business in Nigeria. My business still runs actively till today in Nigeria. So you don't even need to live in the UK permanently also. So my parting words is if you're really serious and you're determined to move to the UK, to move your brand from a local stage to the global market, trust me. What I sell in Nigeria, the pricing I sell in Nigeria is far different of what we sell here. And we sell in pounds here. So you can, it can be your own story, you know. I woke up one day and made a decision that I wanted to do this. And now I'm doing this. So it can be and your you are own happy, story. no regrets. Yes. I'm happy, I'm happy. The only, the, I think the only fear I had was the first day we came in, I felt like running back. To Nigeria that same night because I just feel like it was just a new life and change and all that was overrun. Trust me, the UK is not as difficult as people say. Uh, so finally, please, can a hairdresser apply? That's no. what someone asked. That's the final no, a, question. A, a, a hairdresser cannot apply. And then Matthew said, is Tech Nation still endorsing for technology? Yes, I think they've got a new and dozen body right now. You should um, follow up on the tech people. They will give you much more um, information about that. They've got a new and dozen body and um, they are still applying this. Right? They need talent. So make sure you do it and do it right. And I always tell people, if you don't do it, the Indians will do it. Trust me. Yeah. So guys, because you've heard it from the horse's mouth. That's it. No, sorry, you were saying something. I think I cut you short. Yeah. No, I was trying to say if you don't do it, the Indians will do it because they're always number one in every immigration process. So it's just like when Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So this is information we are giving to you now. Jump on it. The truth is that until the day you will get it, you might not even believe you were qualified. It's just all about evidences. We would help you see and how we can help you gather all your evidences, help you see, arrange your evidences. It's just like giving birth to a baby, breastfeeding the baby, beating the baby. That's just all we'll do for you to make sure you achieve this. Trust me, it's worth it, and you'll be glad. And you'll also be happy, just like other people that made um, those decisions from Tochi Estas um, um, following. Thank you so much. You guys, I got you, okay? I got you all the time. You, you know, you guys know how we do this here. So this is... We got you. Tochi tried to drive me, sent me a couple well. of messages so, to bring me here. Touching yeah. gutsy people like so guys, 
Yeah, so guys, we I'm happy we're doing this and I'm, I can't wait to hear your testimonies. So when you get your endorsement, do well to let us know, okay? This video will always be here for you guys to watch. So if you've missed it or you're just joining, because I can see someone saying, oh, I'm just joining, what are you guys talking about? This video will always be here for you to watch. So you can always go back and watch it and get the information and do the needful. Contact him at Philip Ojire on Instagram and via email at Mr. Philip Ojire at gmail.com. Okay. I can't wait to hear your testimonies and I wish you guys all the best. Remember, you are qualified. Okay. Whatever you're doing, you are qualified. You just have to work on it, rebrand yourself, repackage your brand, your business, and apply for it. Mr. Philip will tell you all you all you should do so that you will stand a chance. I wish you guys all the best, okay? So thank you, everyone, for joining today's live stream. Thank you, everyone. Um, yes, how does fashion designer get endorsements? We have discussed that. Mr. Philip Ojiri is here to help you and um, you know, help you with the application and everything. So just meet him. He's the expert in this. So that was why I brought him because sometimes you need people who are experienced, who are experts in certain fields. They can tell you what to do, okay? Um, I can tell you what to do when it comes to immigration, applying for visas, giving you like information you need. In my area of expertise, I can you know, tell you, help you, um, apply for your, your COS for your company and all that. So that is my area of expertise. I can help you guys know that I'm an immigration consultant in training. So I can help you with that. But this one is his own field and he can help you do that. And I had to bring here because I understand the importance of having an expert help you or advise you when it comes to things like this. So just, um, I trust him. Good. I have seen the results. Okay. I have seen it. It's not like um, he was telling me or maybe I heard it was is a hearsay. I have seen the results. And that is why I had to bring him here because I know a lot of other people will benefit. Okay. So you guys give it a try and I wish you all, all the best. Okay. Thank you guys for joining and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Phillips for coming. Thank you for having me again. I'm just joining. Hope the clip will be available for us to watch. Toti, you're doing a nice job. Yes, Anna, the clip will always be here for you to watch. Okay, thank you for joining. And what if you have worked on a fashion show as a makeup artist? Is that okay? The fashion show is Music Meets Runway. <laughs> Yeah, so makeup artist is not on the list, unfortunately. But we hope that maybe they might upgrade it and add makeup artists. I don't know, but sorry, makeup artist is on the list, right? But hairdresser is not on the list. So that's yeah. why you should contact Mr. Philip. Philip, he will tell you what to do. Okay, he would help you, yeah. tell you how to package yourself, package your brand so that you can apply. Okay, makeup artists are qualified to apply for it. So. Thank you guys, and I'll see. You're not you're not just an ordinary ordinary tailor. You are not. You can be. You are you are a global brand. So please yeah. apply for this visa, and and I'll see you guys in the UK. Bye.